Greetings everyone and welcome to the World Garden in early May and I have some very very special special friends to introduce you to this morning as we go through Great Granny's Moon Gate there installed in the Victorian times what a gorgeous time of year listen to the bird song singing their hearts out and look at the flowers this is common broom now this two acre walled area laid out as a miniature map of the world has Ireland in the foreground in the background North America South America all laid out in their miniature shapes South Africa in the background there you can probably see the flag Australia in the distance just out of sight with our national collection of eucalyptus trees in the far distance the continent of Asia and in the foreground and what I want to celebrate today in the UK section in the European part I want to celebrate our natives and my first lovely horticultural friend to show you today with that lovely arching stem and those pendulous whites to green tip flowers is Polygonatum or Solomon's seal. Most natives are really easy to grow, often undersold and underrated. Solomon's seal is a lovely woodland plant. And just to its right, look at this, Myris odorata. This is the sweet Sicily and if you rub the leaf, it's got a lovely sweet licorice smell. And one of my favourites, which looks good with its lovely, slightly serrated leaves from late winter onwards, is the green hellebore. There are the leaves. And look across here. You've still got a couple of flowers that are out. They look absolutely fabulous. Here's the flower here. Point to the, the flower. There we go. And then the fruiting bodies up here. It's called stinking hellebore because the roots have a really strong sewage like pong to them. Helleborus fittidus, a lovely woodland plant, a bit like the Solomon seal, very easy to grow. As we go past lovely stands of the aristocratic Anthrisca sylvestris, the common cow parsley, and we head to see a plant that, again, people often treat as a weed, but it's a lovely plant. It's great in salads, this. This is the garlic mustard and it does have the, the smell of the leaves when you rub them. An unusual slightly garlicky mustardy smell. A good salad plant. And across to here a lovely purple form of cow parsley. This is Anthrisca sylvestris raven's wing. Bright white flowers like its cousin but look at those purplish unfurling fern like leaves and lovely dark stems. Across to the new forest section we go, we've just passed Cornwall, heading down to Kent, and near the white cliffs of Dover, we have nearly finishing now, the lovely Primula veris. This is the, the cowslip. Again, pretty easy to grow like a lot of our natives. As long as it's grown ideally in a calcareous chalky soil, in quite short grass. It doesn't like too much overcrowding or competition. And then look at this, often treated as our, as our national flower, the common or English bluebell. That deliciously arched stem is fabulous. And right next to it, we have the pink campion, Cellini dioca. I do love the pink campion. It is a particularly nice plant. And across, last but last but no means least, we have these cascading, absolutely cascading flowers of common furs or gorse. This is the double form of gorse, Ulex europaeus, and the smell of coconut is to die for. Let's all grow more natives. <laughs>